guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Eunice it's all about motherhood experiences and everything good about lifestyle so today I just want to share with you guys how I bake my vanilla cake very very quick I want to share with you guys the ingredients and all these ingredients you can get them at the local market very very easy and if you're new here remember to subscribe and please remember guys watch this video up to the end because I'm going to share with you guys a slice of the cake the final look which will be so so good so remember to give it a thumbs up so what do we have here in front of us um we have i like to use the egg self-raising flour because i feel like it already has the raising ingredients so i don't need to add things like uh the baking powder and so i'm going to measure the flour which i've measured here is uh this is 250 grams and then I have here vanilla essence. This is the vanilla essence. I have half a cup of milk. I have blue band. You can use blue band. This blue band I've already measured 150 grams. I have local brown sugar. This I've measured 150 grams. I have two eggs. I have a wing scale, and I really love this wing scale. I can't. I think I got it at Naivas or Tuskes. And I love it because it's kind of manual, so I don't have to connect it to any socket. So you can just put anything and it can easily be. And then I have a mixing bowl. Then I have a hand mixer. I think this is my new invent investment. I didn't have this in my previous video while I was making um, a video about a cake. So I was able to get this. This is the one. Uh, hot point it goes for around 2900 it's very it comes in handy you guys if you really love to bake i think you really need one of these other brands you go for like two five but from two five you can definitely get one and then here definitely i have my baking tin i'm going to use this small size baking tin and here i've already uh what i've already smeared in some blue band you can smear some blue band or some oil and then what i do is that you just add some flour and you're able to just shake it off and this is the final look and for this video for this uh smearing i think uh in my previous video of how to bake i did this i was able to show this so i'm going to share to leave the link so now to start us off i'm going to put in my in my uh baking in here i'm just going to start with sugar so i'm going to put in uh this is the 150 grams of sugar i'm going to put in the sugar so now i'm adding in my blue band which is 150 grams and guys an ingredient that i feel that is very optional is milk you can definitely do without milk you can also do without the vanilla essence but vanilla essence is very important because it kind of gives you the vanilla kind of taste in the cake so now i'm going to mix my blue band and sugar using my hand mixer which is very efficient guys And remember guys when you're mixing this don't overdo it actually when you overdo your mixing the cake kind of sinks in in the middle when you put it in the oven that's something that I've really really come to notice so just mix it uh, well enough and then just make sure you keep on getting everything back together as you do the mixing again So now this looks good i'm now going to add my so now my mixture for the sugar and blue band looks good i'm going to add my eggs and i'm going to do these one by one you have to add them one by one as you mix don't add all the eggs at once so it allows me to mix it well Then I'm now adding my second egg as I mix. This hand mixer is just perfect. It makes work so much easier. So also remember to get everything back in together and try to mix again. So now I'm adding my vanilla essence. And here guys, I just add like 
five to six drops depending on the size of the cake you don't want to add too much vanilla essence you just need to use very very little of it gives you that vanilla taste so now what i'm doing right now is that i want to add my flour and i'm adding like uh in small small chunks so that i can also mix well just to make sure that everything is well mixed and now i'm adding now just little by little until you just make sure that your mixture is just coming in so well don't add the whole amount at once this is very easy guys you just need to be confident remember to do this over and over again baking is all about doing something over and over again until you get to realize your mistakes as you get better so now when it looks like this what i want to do is i want to add milk and mostly here you can do without the milk but i like adding milk because it gives me that smooth texture probably when you feel maybe the eggs were too little so the milk will definitely bring in that smoother texture and just makes the mixture to so as i'm doing the mixing my oven is heating up at is preheating sorry at 180 degrees heat is coming from both ends and i'm putting a timer of 40 minutes but time may differ depending on your oven and also depending on how the cake is doing but i'll keep on checking on the cake and maybe i'll have to adjust my time so now i'm just going to take my tin and put all these here. So I'm going to check on these after 20 minutes. So now my cake is straight from the oven and it's very hot but let me just slice it so that you can see inside i was not able to record after 20 minutes but you have to keep on checking on it so you can see my tin is very clear you just have to make sure that you get it out slowly and easy and now let me try and slice it and you can see that it's fully brown both uh, down and also on top so let me just take a bite of this and I feel like I'm so ready for my breakfast tomorrow. So if you can take a good look at this guys, it's well aerated and it feels very, very soft. So guys, give this a try and let me know how it will come out. So this is my final look of my vanilla cake today guys let me know what you think about this video is it easy for you do you think you can give it a try please give this video a thumbs up and please please remember to subscribe and support your girl i love you guys so much i'm going to see you in my next video remember to share your opinion the moment you give it a try it's very very easy all these ingredients you can get them at any local store that is near you guys i'm going to see you in my next video for now it's a bye